Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. On New Year's holiday, I visited Hiroshima for the first time. I enjoyed exploring Hiroshima on the first day and I plan to go to islands on the Seto Island Sea. Sunrise in this morning was so beautiful. Islands on the Seto Island Sea is like this. The road passing over six small islands in Seto Island Sea is called Shimanami Kaido. It is 60 km long road that connects main island and Shikoku. This route was opened in 1999, so it is pretty new roads and bridges. After passing all the islands on the Seto Island Sea, you can go to Ehime Prefecture. Ehime is famous for its orange. Because they produce a lot of orange, there is a place which has a tap that gives you orange juice. We really wanted to go there, but we didn't have time to go to Ehime. So maybe next time, we drop through Mukaishima, Innoshima, and Ikuchi Island. And we stopped by Omishima Island. To go to island on the Seto Island Sea, you can either take a bike or a car. Since we didn't have much time to explore the island, we decided to take a car. There are multiple car rental companies in Japan, and we used a car rental company called Times. We bought a car for about 6 hours for 4,300 yen, which is about $33. This is our first stop. It's a shrine which is called Oyamazumi Shrine. This shrine is located at Omishima in Seto Island Sea. Omishima is middle of main island and Shikoku. This shrine is once one of the most important shrine for samurai. This shrine has a collection of armors and weaponry. As a 80% of national treasure in Japan are located here. So if you like Japanese old weapons like katana, then I highly recommend to visit here. Anyways, this shrine is super big. It took a while to go to the main building of the shrine. There are so many trees and plants and it was such a healing place. This tree was existed at the center of the shrine. This tree is called Goshinboku, and this is considered as Tennen Kinenbutsu, which means natural monuments. This one says it's 2,600 years old. It's super old, but it's standing strongly. After we enjoyed nature in the shrine, we went to do Omairi, which means shrine visit and pray. The shrine is really nice and it seems like it's taken care of well. Since we were on trip, I wish that we can travel safely and have fun. After we are done doing Omairi, we did Omikuji. It's like a Japanese fortune teller paper, but we decided to do the one which has small goodie. This is the Omikuji I got. The inside is like this. There is the paper which tells your fortune and this threads. This threads means to attract good luck for you, and each color has different meaning. The one I got was white threads, and it is for attracting victory and avoiding negative energy. I don't like having negative energy, so it's really good for me. It's good if you keep it with you, so people usually put it in wallet. After that, we walked around the shrine for a while. There were another tending kinenbutsu in this shrine. It's called Amagoi no Kusunoki. It was pretty big tree. After we enjoyed time at shrine, we went to get lunch. Since we were close to sea, we went to get seafood. This is the place we went and it is called Taido. There were already people waiting on the restaurant to open. Since this place has good review, we were super excited to get seafood here. The main dish they have is kaisen don, which is a bowl of rice with sashimi on top. But they also have fried fishes, boiled fishes, salads, and so on. We decided to get fried squid for appetizer, and we got kaisen don for main dish. I got negi toro don, which is minced tuna with green onion. It was one of the best kaisen don I have ever had in my life. After we are done eating, we went to a souvenir shop close to the lunch place. We didn't get anything, but it was really fun to walk around in the store. In the same store, they were selling ice cream, so we got one. We got salted milk ice cream. This island has a famous salt making company, so this ice cream had salt in it. Even though the ice cream was super good, it was freezing outside. I don't know why we didn't eat it inside. 
After that, we drove a little bit to see the ocean. It was super nice outside, and the wind was so comfortable. Driving around here is pretty easy since there were not a lot of cars. And the wind from the window was super nice. I don't like driving that much, but driving here was so fun. After that, we came back to Onomichi to return the car. Since we have time until we take trains to next place, we visited cafe to chillax. This cafe is called Hato Kitchen, and it was a nice place. I like houses that have big windows because getting sunshine makes me happy. I wish my house is like this. I got ginger lemon squash at this cafe. It was bitter and sweet, and it was really good. Maybe it's hard to see, but there was a cat outside of the window. So cute. After that, we stopped by the coffee shop called Krashiko. We wanted to come here because the coffee we got in the morning was from here. And the owner of the hotel told us about this place. There were so many different coffee beans, and you can get either whole beans or grinded beans. We couldn't decide which one to get, but the owner of this shop helped us to pick one. They didn't have the same exact coffee beans that we got at the hotel. But we decided to get the similar one that was recommended by the owner. The coffee place was super nice and cozy. I want to have coffee shop like this someday. I need to learn more about the coffee. After we enjoyed the smell of coffee, we headed to Miyajimaguchi Station in Hiroshima. Miyajimaguchi is about 1 hour and 30 minutes away from Onomichi Station. The view of the Seto Island Sea from the window was super pretty. It wasn't crowded at all when we were heading to Miyajimaguchi Station. It was kind of fun to walk around the empty train. We were really hungry, so we were looking for the dinner place. But that made us more hungry. Anyways, say bye to the train and we arrived to Miyajimaguchi Station. The reason why we came here is to visit Miyajima, which is famous for a big shrine floating on the sea. It was too late to visit there on this day, so we planned to go there next morning. We dropped off our luggage and we went to get dinner. This is the dinner we got. We got fish tempura bowl at Oshogushi Dokoro Miyajima Guchi. It was really really good. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.